Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O Lord, for days of grace when birds sing, when insects make their chirpings and buzzings, and we feel a joyful nature around us, Lord, when the world can seem so chaotic and tumultuous, and Lord, everybody seems to be in some sort of trouble. It's nice to have a place and a time for pause and for calm. And Lord, even as we turn to your word, for some of us, the reflection upon your word today will be that peaceful, calming place. For others, it will be that difficult confrontation that will force us to confront the chaos within and around us. Well, Lord, whatever this experience with your word is, we ask your Holy Spirit to guide us, that it will be truth that we come to understand, that we will learn to set aside the fears of the world, that in the end, as a result of this time, we will have a better understanding of peace. And in peace, O oh Lord, we will able, be able to go forth into the world and offer healing and hope and an uplifting message of truth. Lord, guide us in the way we share your word, that it will not come through as an agenda of our own, an ideal we're trying to reach, but a reality that you bring into our lives as we seek to live in grace. And so, Lord, this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And turning to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, reading at verse 6. Therefore we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. It's the conjecture. It's not body against God, but realizing that if we depend on the reality that is limited by this flesh, we are limiting who we are made to be. God has made us in his image and calls us to see this and appreciate it and at the same time seek to transcend it not to our own will not to our own ends but to where god would have us be and that requires discernment and self-discipline and it's not a disciplining against the the flesh not to beat it or pulverize it but to subdue it with love to recognize this body as as a place of worship and not self-worship but a worship of god and to bring that forth into our life each and every day in the world, uh, in, in the way we care, in the way we serve, in the way that people encounter us and come to know God's word again. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Let people, when they encounter you, don't just encounter what they can see, but encounter what you believe. Encounter who you are in faith, that they may come to know God and honor God through that experience with you in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit as we bless and serve God together. Amen.